<laughs> Tell us about my game. I, I, I can't. I can't. We can grant you the immunity. Just tell us about Margin. No. I have Doritos. Alright, alright. I talk. This section of Persepolis is where the changes come from. When Margie hits puberty and becomes a woman. It is when, boom, a new Margie appears. This 118 pages span through 3 years of her life. In this section, we see the events that happened during 13 years. From the age of 14, where she was sent to Vienna, to the age of 17, when she became the school's drug dealer. And yes, I am talking about the same Margie Tachapi from the last week's video. At first, Martin is heading in the basement with her family because of the bombing of Duran, which was being bombed. Despite all their dangers, the parties kept going on, though sometimes when the police showed up, they had to drive themselves out of the situation with money. The war kept on going for a long time. Two years later, 12-year-old Martin made some 14-year-old friends. In order to fit in, she did some of the things that teenagers did. Simple things like this would forge her personality later for the future. Perhaps smoking a cigarette. The war ended around this time, but peace was never present. When their borders opened up, Martin's parents went on a trip to Istanbul. They got her presents, forbidden merchandise from the Western world. But once, she got stopped by Guardians of the Revolution because of wearing these punk items, such as a denim, denim jacket and a tight pant. Because of small things like this and the ongoing struggle of the war, her parents sent her to Vienna. She was supposed to live with a friend of her mother, but this woman put her in a boarding house run by nuns. What happened after? After a few days in Vienna, a friend of hers that lived outside in Iran picked her up. She met people like her 18-year-old friend Julie and her roommate Lucia. Then she ended up getting kicked out of the nun's house and went to stay with Julie and live with her. She learned about boys and girls in there. During this time, she grew up and became a completely different person. She thought that because she started smoking and hanging out with this uh, older friends, her parents wouldn't be proud of her. <laughs> Eventually, she moved from Vienna to Austria and stayed in, in a house of only men. Homosexuals, really. At this time, her mother visited her. What was her mother's reaction? It is impressive what time does to people. And I'm not the one saying that. I'm quoting something Martin said when her mom visited her for the first time since she had left her aunt. When at the airport, her mom didn't recognize her and just walked past her. They shared stories and good experiences, but eventually her mother left. Alright. You're free to go. Here are your papers. Thank you, thank you. Ah, yes. Ma Jane Satrabi. She was one of my patients. She was brought to us unconscious and in an extremely poor condition. So, we brought her back. What an experience. I looked at her profile, if you will, and it said she had quite the time in Austria. She and her friends came and went. Her boyfriend was a real pain in the buttox. And also unattended. And she got kicked out of Frau Helle's house. Yes. One of her boyfriends, Enrique, was unfortunately attracted to the opposite sex and Marcus, her other one, was rather unattentive and he cheated on her. Oops. Well, she was living on the streets for quite some time. She lost her savings, she had to dig to the garbage for food and 
she had to hide herself at night because who knows what would happen to a young girl like her. When she was brought to us, she ended up having chronic bronchitis due to her heavy smoking and drug use. But we took extremely good care of her, no worries. After she left, I gave her a call. And what do you know, she was in Iran. Well, that's all the information I have for you now. My baby girl is back. The back of after four long years, she was hardly recognizable. We took her back home, and she seemed happy to be home. She changed her room a bit and tried to get back to the Iranian norms. I worked late, so I didn't see my girl all throughout the day. But when I did, it was pleasurable times. We would discuss about politics, laws, and the war. I told her about the Muhammadin and how they were against the regime. A lot of people were, a lot of them were killed by the Guardians later, though since they didn't have the support of the people that they hated. Anyway, they made it to Tehran, so naturally the regime got scared. So they took tens of thousands of their political prisoners and they executed them, well, most of them. But that was a depressing topic, so I assured her that that was behind us and everything was going to be okay. And now we're moving forward. What else? What else? Oh, yes. I don't think she was feeling right because she wanted to see a couple of psychotherapists due to her depression. And then she rejected our offer to come to the Caspian Sea. And then, I couldn't believe it, she tried to commit suicide. I... After the attempt, something must have clicked because she became a completely new woman. She groomed herself from head to toe. She changed her hair, even her clothes. She went out to look for a job and she be ended up becoming a aerobic instructor. She got new friends and at one of the parties she went to, <clears throat> she found the love of her life. A man named Reza. Of course, I didn't believe it, but she thought they were meant for each other. So, naturally I supported her. They both had similar goals, which was to get in the university after taking the national exam. Luckily, they both passed which was good. Marjan was then admitted to be a graphic designer, and I was so proud of her. She had a lot of fun at the university. She would gossip with friends to draw, because she was a graphic designer, and then she would have parties. It was quite annoying because we'd have to bail her out after the parties. Yes, yes, and then they got married. What a glorious time. After they did all the things they do in Iranian weddings. So, after a while, their relationship must have took a turn because they were getting distant, as I suspected. But then, my baby girl got the project of a lifetime to build a theme park, to design a theme park with Reza. She was so occupied with the project that she hardly noticed that she was mad at Reza. Obviously, my baby girl got the 20 out of 20, but it couldn't be completed due to the regime. And after that, they, Reza and Marjan grew distant again. So she filed a divorce. After that, she wanted to do a lot of things before she wanted to go to France. She wanted to visit the grandfather's grave and travel with her grandmother. Well, that was my baby girl. If you like that, you can check out more in Persepolis Times. Thank you.